if you are just now starting to come into your actual 2024 mindset and starting to feel the pull to do all the things that you have not done yet please do not be hard on yourself you are still in hibernation mode things in the winter are still dead and have yet to be bloomed you've still been processing 2023's year end and you're now about to step into a season where you are ready to start your 2024 officially or start to manifest put in the work for the things that you want to come into fruition for you in 2024. Welcome back to my channel, Simply Key Simone. If you are new here, I want to say welcome. And if you're returning, I want to say welcome back. Welcome back to another vlog. Girl, what? A vlog? Yes. Um, <laughs> happy Friday. Today is Friday, February 16th. Oh no. Cord. I hate when that happens. I got this long cord and I be closing it in the freaking door <laughs> but good morning good morning it is currently 6 58 i have just gotten out of my first pilates class y'all what girl why i never why i never went to pilates first of all it's the fact that i haven't worked out in y'all don't even want to know okay this is my first workout of 2024 and i wanted to start it off with something new pilates was really good um i downloaded class pass and i don't know if you all have heard of that but class pass is basically um like a subscription service and you sign up with the link that i signed up with i could get uh, 14 days free so basically for 14 days i can choose any type of workout classes that i want to go to um, whether that be dance whether that be pilates whether that be bar whether that be uh hit training or anything like that and um so i decided to take advantage of that kick off my weekend right and i can't believe this is the first workout of 2024 y'all let me go ahead and get get myself on home but y'all hey hey 
um yesterday was my anniversary which i don't even know how i'm up and awake at this point because we were up pretty late last night but um if you don't follow me on instagram then make sure you do that um because you would have seen that it was me and my ba baby's anniversary yesterday february 15th february 15th was our anniversary starting route to mm -mm. starting route to siri shut your ass up Turn right. Why, why Siri be wanting to tell everybody where you going when you pull off? I can't. But yeah, y'all, yesterday was our anniversary. It was our five-year wedding anniversary. And we actually celebrated um, over the weekend just because, A, what we did for our anniversary was happening on the weekend. So it was just easier to do it that way. And then also, yeah, obviously our anniversary is after valentine's day so you know just during the week we knew that it was gonna be pretty pretty packed and solid um That's the so yeah. <laughs> Use the left lane we it. had a really really great anniversary um it was top tier we went to a new steakhouse here in san antonio called blue prime we actually um just recently went there for a friend's birthday dinner and it was so good we knew we most definitely had to come back why do they have me making a u-turn here i don't even think can i swing it can i swing it can i swing it uh... oh i made it oh lord y'all not Siri got me going driving crazy but um but yeah the restaurant blue prime steakhouse it was so good the the customer service is freaking top tier you know, let me put my glasses on at the lights turn right onto because if y'all did not know <laughs> girl can't see but the restaurant was amazing um i posted a reel on instagram yesterday and i think i'm gonna post it um as a short here on youtube so um it should be up already by the time this vlog is up so if you haven't seen it go check that out and then afterwards we went to an xavier omar concert which was top tier because xavier omar um sings a song called blind man and blind man was our song like when we first got together and that's the song that played at our engagement party it was just a very nostalgic moment and very just like it, we 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 thoroughly enjoyed it it really took us back to like our first days of being in love and we were just really like reflecting and being in the moment um and just happy that we've been married for five years it's really insane in three miles that, take omg siri hush i think i know how to get home anyway i just needed to know how to get about that parking lot or parking area i might can go ahead and turn siri off but but yeah it was just really nostalgic and then also um just to see him perform it live it's just so different seeing songs performed live that you really really love like you feel the artist energy and then also i didn't even know that xavier omar was from san antonio like what so he gave a very very special performance i feel like he did a lot of storytelling in between his songs um and i thought that that was very interesting um and i i thoroughly enjoyed it he had all of his family um and friends there so that was really really good but yes uh that was just a recap make sure you go check those uh youtube shorts and then if they're not on youtube shorts which they will be but uh check the youtube shorts but if you don't see it in youtube shorts um go check my instagram or go check my tiktok i will have that stuff linked down below but yeah y'all i just wanted to open up the vlog let y'all know what i've been doing bogged down with school work and then celebrating my anniversary with my baby and that's pretty much been it i do not be doing anything except for school work school work school work school work school work and then um at the beginning of the year we had like a lot of back-to-back -back birthday celebrations but other than that me and my baby been in the house working okay but yeah, so we are just gonna go ahead and kick this vlog off. I feel like I'm already talking y'all head off like I normally do. So um, I'm gonna just go ahead and get home. Um, I'm gonna make, hmm, what am I gonna make? I'm gonna make a protein shake. I'm going to take a shower, um, 
get some breakfast and me probably something very very small um and then yeah i think i have like a lot of homework to do <laughs> really um to try to get the majority of it done before the weekend so yeah girl y'all about to spend a Two good miles. old take exit once hush siri telling these folks where i'm going <laughs> but yeah make sure that you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up make sure that you hit that subscribe button girl turn on your post bell notifications so that you'll be notified every time i post a new video and then also go ahead and slide on over to instagram and follow me there um and i also i'm about to try to start posting on tiktok so go ahead and follow me there as well but yeah girl um i'm gonna just see you when i get home i'm about to um crank up this new glorilla because it has me in a chokehold and i'm sorry glorilla 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 i've always really liked glorilla but the glow up is unmatched like i just love her delivery whenever she is rapping like i love her tone of voice like i love i just i just she's to me she's that girl like if you she, she's in the that girl category okay if you don't like glorilla i don't know what to tell you but she be having me <laughs> Y'all, I look freaking insane on this camera. That's crazy. got no almond milk. Pretty mouth, the truth is fitting Cause you ain't never talking loud and you know plenty You know what I'm talking about cause you just get me Yeah, you so pretty If everything is ticked and go, Then baby, it will never grow Everything sweet ain't sugar cold Jake. Yeah. 
pack A player that's down for my crown, man If you food step, I'ma be downtown, man Four floor bow, man Let's if I get caught, man Push me to the edge so it really ain't my fault, man Turn my Angie Stone down, y'all. I've been I've been vibing. When I took a shower, I was listening to Common. I was listening to me some Angie Stone, some Sade, some uh, some Jill Scott. Hey, but yeah, I thought I'd just do um do my morning skincare with y'all this morning before I went to Pilates. All I did was basically like rinse my face off with water, put on moisturizer, and then put on sunscreen over it. Um, but now I'm going in, I probably should show y'all before I start putting it on my face. But I'm going in with this, I'm going in with this Estee Lauder um, uh, Advanced Night Cleansing Jelly. It has um, like amino acids in it. It's very gentle and it, um, it really, like it cleanses my skin, but it also like leaves it very, very hydrated. So I really love this. Um, in the nighttime or daytime, it's a nighttime cleanser, but you can use it in the morning or the night. So I'm just gonna get this good and foamy on my skin. I have, I have been very much so, um, diligent with my skincare routine. Um, honestly, that's probably <laughs> the only routine that I've been consistent in. Um, since the beginning of the year, just because we've had like so much stuff going on and then also you know school that takes up a lot of my time so i really enjoy or have been enjoying and taking more time to enjoy doing my skincare and it hasn't really felt like a chore to me anymore but i've been very much so consistent because baby 30 plus you need to get on the skincare okay help the help the melanin out and as y'all know i have very much so acne prone skin and i have a lot of um discoloration and stuff from like acne in the past so and i also have very um very dark eyes like very baggy eyes so really getting into my skincare is really really important to me because i do not want to age like a old piece of fruit okay to make sure that we keep the skin together so I'm just been, I've just been really taking my time getting into my skin here also um yesterday uh earlier this morning when I was leaving Pilates I told y'all that I had posted um our anniversary reels like everything we did and stuff and I was just reading through the comments earlier while I was um, drinking my protein smoothie and I, I promise I don't know why I don't know how but I was getting really really freaking emotional and I just really appreciate all the sweet comments that everybody was leaving on um, me and my baby's anniversary post just because like it's beautiful to to be in love and to have love but when other people love and support you too is it's, it's just really beautiful and the comments if if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. Um, but the comments, I was, I, I don't know. I was just getting very much so emotional. I'm just so grateful that we have people that love on us as a unit. Um, not only just love on us individually, but love on us as a unit. I'm just about to go in with my toner. Um, Ole Erickson um, Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. But yeah, I just, I just really, I don't know. It, it really had me in a in a little moment okay so thank you all so so much for just showing us love loving on me loving on my baby um and just supporting us because well not supporting us <laughs> just loving on us i really really appreciate y'all and those sweet comments got me in my feelings girl i had to shake back 
But yes, I'm just gonna pat my toner in. Pat my toner in. But for today's agenda, um, I have a lot of homework to get through. So we're gonna be doing that pretty much. Um, my baby is working upstairs. Um, she works from home, so she's right upstairs. And while she's working, I'm just gonna be tapped into my work. I don't have class today. So amen for that. Now I'm gonna uh, follow my toner up with this Glow Recipe Serum. This is their Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum to brighten and even the skin tone. As y'all can see, I definitely have discoloration from past acne scars. Um, like I said, if y'all have been following me for a while, y'all know that I struggle off and on with all types of acne girls. So we need to make sure that we're doing our best to get this discoloration under control. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, look at them chin hairs. I ought to be ashamed. I ought to be ashamed. Is that a hair in my Oh my goodness, I ought to be ashamed because the hairs that's growing out of this chin mm, might have to have us a extended skincare on Sunday because I gotta get this this mustache and this hair on my chin, child. Because that that's that don't make no sense. That don't make no sense at all. I'm keeping it real simple this morning. I'm just about to follow up with a with a moisturizer which is just a day cream um this is from estee lauder as well this is the revitalizing supreme youth power cream i absolutely love this i have the nighttime one and the daytime one this butter like skin feel like butter like mm, moisturized and like you know how some moisturizers they uh like they sink into your skin overnight and it feels like that you never put on any moisturizer that's probably way too much <laughs> but um y'all know how moisturizers like really just sink into your skin overnight and it feels like that you didn't put on anything yeah no the night version of this very skin feel like butter when you wake up in the morning and i love to have it on throughout the day especially like in these winter months in these winter months child you want some hydrated skin that's that's what you need right there okay probably when it gets hot when it gets summertime i'll switch back to my um belief aqua bomb but fall winter all of these really really cold dry months i've been keeping my skin hydrated with this estee lauder baby mm -mm. so good as for my review for the Pilates class, I really, 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 really enjoyed it. Um, it was really, really challenging. I think the, the class that I was in, it was more so geared towards like the glutes and the core. So good. Like I was in there trembling, shaking like a stripper. I was burping and tasting champagne from last night because I told y'all yesterday was our anniversary, y'all crazy. Um, now I'm just going to moisturize my lips with the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. Mm -hmm. This this Lip Butter Balm is really good. I know a lot of girls be hyping stuff up, but this is actually really good. <laughs> this is actually really good. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. All right, so skincare is complete. Super simple, just um, cleanse, tone, serum, moisturizer moisturize the lips i ain't going nowhere today i ain't doing much except for a lot of work so had to keep it simple but yes 10 out of 10 highly recommend the pilates but i'm gonna um go ahead and get dressed it's almost 9 30 so i want to go ahead and get started on my work
sorry y'all so i have gotten dressed i made me and baby some oatmeal so good this is some pb and j oatmeal it's just um regular oatmeal with water um cinnamon honey peanut butter um i roasted some little chopped peanuts and then i chopped up some dry cherries and then drizzle over some jam baby pb and j in a bowl <laughs> mm. but i'm about to go ahead and eat this um check my email and go ahead and get assessment completed i'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then go ahead and get started on this work y'all it really do be my goal to have my homework done before the weekend starts just so that i can have like just some breathing room um but you know sometimes it is what it is but the goal is to go ahead and finish everything today because i really just want to relax throughout the weekend um and relax with y'all vibe with y'all vlog for y'all i don't want to be stuck in front of my computer and can't vlog but yeah so we just gonna go ahead and get to it um how i've been liking to do my work is to um like work for about like 90 minutes and then take like a 15 to 20 minute break in between and then get back to it it just kind of keeps me um productive because sitting and working for a super long time um you know your brain starts to wonder and chill um you know your brain just starts to wonder you get really really fatigued um and i just want to not get burnt out whenever i'm doing my work especially when i know i want to get a lot of things done so i'll probably work for a good 90 minutes take my break um work for another 90 minutes and all my breaks i either eat a snack go upstairs and you know talk to my baby sit with my baby or step outside or scroll watch a youtube video something like that something that's gonna take my mind off of school and like kind of feel like a mini reset and then get back to work for another 90 minutes and then so on and so on so um i try to do that when i'm editing but a lot of times i just get really really lost in editing because i i actually really love it i don't love doing school work but i love editing so i will sit in one spot and edit for like six hours but it's actually really better for you <laughs> so i have to stop doing that but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get to work um y'all probably won't see me much until later on tonight but um yeah i'm just gonna eat this and then go ahead and put my phone on personal do not disturb because baby these notification notification right there these notifications be having me looking hold up i have put my phone personal do not disturb i like to put it on personal just in case any of my emergency contacts need to contact me they're the only people that can call me while i'm in personal but i'm just gonna talk to y'all later <laughs> Hello.
Hello friends, I'm now back. Y'all have not seen me in an entire work shift. Um, last time y'all saw me, it was about 10 a.m. I think. Yeah, it was about 10 a.m.-ish. It's now 5 p.m. I'm signing out for the night, okay? Um, I, I can't look at this computer screen anymore, as you can see bags so I'm, I'm done looking at the computer screen for the day um I feel like I put my time in I put my hours in and yeah we about to call it an evening because I'm ready to spend time with my baby um but yeah y'all didn't miss anything at all what I had lunch did laundry which I actually need to go fold now um so I had laundry going did a bunch of planning or not a bunch of planning but some planning because we have things coming up i don't know what it's been last year well i guess the end of last year and the beginning of this uh this year y'all we've been some busy bodies okay um but yeah i did some planning the art company came to do the lawn baby went for a, yeah baby went for a run when she got off work and close out everything y'all i'm tired well, I'm not tired. I'm just tired of looking at the computer. I'm actually still super energized, which is crazy. I don't know if it was the putting the coffee in my protein earlier or what, because I woke up this morning. My alarm went off at 4.45, but I didn't get out of the bed until like 4.55. Um, and last night we didn't go to sleep till I think about 11.30. So I don't know why I'm so energized. Lovely, we're done for the day. Candle is blown out. Blinds are getting closed. The office is officially closed. Baby. Oh, this oh, we are. Mm. Look at the pretty girl. Look at the pretty girl. Look at the pretty girl. Look at your pretty, pretty mamas. <laughs> Long neck. So baby has the lights turned on red. So I'm gonna assume that we're watching a scary movie tonight. I don't know. There's a new scary movie coming out called Immaculate that has, um, what's her name? Uh, something Sweeney. Her last name is Sweeney. But she uh, was in Euphoria. The blonde one with the big boobies. Sydney Sweeney. And she's like a nun and it's haunted.
she sees nothing wrong with this. She said, I wasn't in hugging. <laughs> so, we about to fold some laundry. Fun. But we have an extra, um, we have a leftover a bottle or extra bottle of champagne from leftover i can't talk we have an extra bottle left over from our anniversary of champagne so we are definitely gonna pop that tonight and get cozy and cook some dinner and watch a movie and curl up on the couch that's like one of our favorite things to do on a friday night together like not have any plans cook eat drink and be merry and watch a movie and cuddle and giggle and be goofy and be ugly in the house So I'm done. <laughs> I'm done folding the laundry and we're about to go ahead and cook dinner. Look who's awake and blinking and smiling. Hello, Starshine. Good, <laughs> Good morning, Starshine. The world says hello. Girl, ain't nobody put nothing in your water. Hmm. I love you so much. I love you, Mom. You ready to eat? No. You ready for a glass of champagne? I definitely don't know. <laughs> well, I'm going with the vibes. Um. Let's you girls elevate. It is, it is. She thick, she real thick. <laughs> she real thick. <laughs> okay, so um, this is a HelloFresh meal. Not sponsored, but we're manifesting the sponsorship. But we actually did not even pay for a box. We, fast forward, I mean, rewind. We used to subscribe to um, HelloFresh, I wanna say like two years ago, right? Two years ago. Whatever, the year prior to um, my baby going overseas, we used to subscribe to HelloFresh. So we were going to resubscribe because lately, I just really have not been feeling like grocery shopping. And then sometimes I don't even be feeling like cooking. Um, I go through periods of time where I feel like cooking and then I don't feel like cooking for real. Um, so we had subscribed to HelloFresh, or baby did, and then unsubscribed because we were like, eh. Do we really want to subscribe? And so prior to her unsubscribing, like it happened so quick and simultaneous that they sent us a box anyway. And we got it for free. 
So I'm not saying that it's a hack or a jug, but we got a full week of meals for free. So in return, I'm going to promo them. But anywho, we had actually called HelloFresh just to make sure. Um, and they was like, you know, just consider it a complimentary box or whatever. But y'all, we're about to cook a meal. Dang, this is actually, so this is for a family of four and not two, right? Yeah. That's crazy that they literally give you double everything. All right then, well, <laughs> what's on the menu? So this is the meal that we are cooking this evening. Penne with spinach and grape tomatoes topped with garlic butter, breadcrumbs, and Parmesan. How does that sound, baby? That sounds so good. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead. We got this. Uh, if you want to do a two-person, you can split it up. But I'm just going to go ahead and make all of it because um, we'll probably eat the leftovers tomorrow. So let's see. We have eight ounces of great tomatoes. We have one fourth cup or a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. We have two tablespoons of garlic powder, 12 ounces of penne, um, veggie stock, cream cheese, spinach, Parmesan cheese, and chili flakes for a little extra kick. I don't think I'm gonna put the chili flakes in the whole thing. I think I'm just gonna put it in mine. Or do you want chili flakes? Okay, well, I'll put it in the whole thing. Baby don't really like spicy food, but chili flakes, like, it's kind of like warm, but not spicy, so it'll be all right. Let's get a pot of water. Y'all, y'all can still see me and y'all are facing that way. <laughs> it's the wide angle lens. But yes, my baby got me, that was one of my anniversary gifts, is a new lens for this camera. And if y'all been following me for a while, then y'all know I've been complaining and complaining and complaining and complaining about wanting one. Um, and my girl, Tyann, if y'all don't know who that is, make sure that y'all go follow Tyann Watson here on YouTube. Um, that's my homegirl. She just hit 1K and my girl just got monetized. So shout out to her. Um, she sent me a link to the adapter, well, I guess a lens adapter for this camera because a couple vlogs back, I think this was like prior to, like right before Vlogmas, I was talking about how I had bought a lens and I went to Best Buy and I had to return it because my camera was not compatible with any lenses, but she found one and got one for her camera and she sent me the link and a little birdie just dropped it in my baby's inbox. And now I have it. <laughs> but um, let's see, the prep time, what does it say? How long is this gonna take? Cause I'm hungry. Oh, at the bottom. Okay, so prep time is five minutes. Cook time is 20 minutes. So 25 minutes, a meal in 25 minutes. We love that, we love that. So while my water is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and I guess rinse off my produce. Um, rinse my spinach and my tomatoes. This is gonna be really easy. Yes, yes, love that. You know, most people get a notification and say such and such commented on their own post. Now that my water is boiling, I'm just gonna go ahead and salt this baby. I hope this is enough water, y'all. It don't look like it, but we gonna roll with it. So we are using their penne regate. Um, yeah, basically just regular penne pasta. Okay, no, it was enough. 
give this a stir so that my pasta does not stick together. And let that boil for about 10 to 12 minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and get started on our sauce and our toppings that are gonna go with our pasta. So one tablespoon of butter so that we can go ahead and toast our breadcrumbs. That's gonna go on the top of our pasta when we're done. The recipe calls for us to reserve one fourth cup of the pasta water and the pasta is almost done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that out. Now I know y'all probably looking at me like, girl, why is you doing that <laughs> like that? I'm pretty sure it's a more uh, cute and aesthetic way of doing this, but girl, just get, get some of the water out. So that should be good. And then before we drain that, I'm gonna go ahead and get my butter nice and distributed in my pan, turn my heat down because I don't want to I don't want to burn my breadcrumbs. Here are our breadcrumbs. We're just using regular panko. Wet. While my breadcrumbs are toasting, I'm just gonna drain the water from my pasta. Boom. These breadcrumbs actually smell really, <gasps> y'all, not me about to burn my breadcrumbs. No, they're not burnt. They're just nice and <laughs> nice and toasty. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get these off the heat. All right, so now in this very same pan, I'm going to melt some more butter. And while that's melting, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my next couple of ingredients, which by prep, I mean cut the packages open. <laughs> And another thing I really like about, you know, just having all these ingredients like this, I could just toss all my scraps and everything right back in the HelloFresh bag. Okay, so get this butter good and melted. I am to add in my rest of my garlic powder and it says to cook that down until it's fragrant. I honestly don't want to cook this for too long because I don't want to burn my garlic powder. So I'm just going to make sure that it's absorbed in the butter. And then I'm going to go ahead and start adding my next ingredients. We're going to add a third of a cup of the pasta water that we had. I added a little bit more than what they called for just in case I want to add some at the end. We're going to add in our veggie stock concentrate, cream cheese, which is going to make this sauce very creamy. I actually feel like we made this recipe before. Um, we ordered the box that was for, baby, what was it? Pescatarian or was it vegetarian? Vegetarian. We ordered the vegetarian box, so we only got either veggie recipes or recipes with fish. Um, and I feel like that we had this in our prior boxes, so. Even if we didn't, I can already tell just by the ingredients that this is gonna be really good. All right, so now I'm just gonna give this a stir. I'm gonna keep this on like low to medium heat just until this gets nice and creamy. And actually, I think I'm gonna use a whisk. Like I'm gonna let the cream cheese melt a little bit and then like go in with a whisk just to get it nice and creamy and smooth. I just wanted to give y'all a closer look at this sauce, but we're just gonna use this whisk and try to get this sauce as smooth and as creamy as we possibly can. how smooth and creamy this is coming out it was looking a little skeptical i'm not gonna lie i was looking a little skeptical but the cream cheese definitely smoothed out and look at it it's just hugging the pot that looks so good i'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper 
love me some black pepper. Keep that on low. I don't think I really want this to boil. I just want it to stay good and warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my tomatoes. I actually was supposed to do this <laughs> while the water was boiling, but I was too busy running my mouth to y'all. So, and also, like I said, I did not read the instructions fully before I started. <laughs> But anywho, word to the wise, read the instructions. Oh, my uh, cherry tomato just exploded, squared it on the board. What is going on in that kitchen? I don't know, girl. Now to my sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and add my spinach. cherry tomatoes okay so a couple minutes later our spinach is nice and wilted so we're gonna go ahead and toss in our pasta because baby the meal is almost complete done got a little dry on me now the instructions say to add the cheese on top in which I definitely will do that, but I'm gonna do half of the cheese on the inside of the pasta just to add a little extra thick and creaminess to my sauce. And we're just gonna give this a toss until it's nice and incorporated and our noodles are completely covered in our sauce. And this recipe can absolutely be modified. Um, on the package it says, you know, add chicken or shrimp and shrimp probably would have been really good in this, but as y'all know, we've been on a pescatarian diet, so I figured tonight we would take a break <laughs> from our fish and, you know, just keep it all with the veggies. I'm just gonna hit it with some Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning. Just a little bit, cause I've already put some salt and pepper in here, but I just needed a little, little something. Okay, so as the instructions state, we're gonna sprinkle the top with some Parmesan cheese. We're gonna go in with some of those garlic toasted breadcrumbs. And we're gonna add a pinch of red pepper flakes. And there we have it, folks. A delicious, our delicious penne with spinach and grape tomatoes. Y'all be the judge. What, what, is it? Is it giving? Is it giving the picture? Is it giving the picture? Is it giving the yeah. picture? <laughs> Look at baby. See, this this is what I'm talking about. Teamwork. 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 Um, since I did have someone comment on um, my recent video on marriage tips and advice, mm -hmm. and if y'all haven't watched that video, make sure y'all go watch it. But um, somebody said that they want us to do a video together, like basically a backstory of how we met and all that good stuff. But we can save that for another day. But one thing that I want to ask you is what is something in your opinion is like a good marriage tip or something that you feel like that you've learned in these five years that we've been married? Or something that you've learned about, I guess, just being in a relationship in general and being married that you would suggest to someone? I would say, honestly, just, just working together um, through everything within you know your marriage relationship rather it's like something good or something bad but just working together coming to just 
an understanding of the person and not, you know, being in such an attack mode, but just really just being understanding. Compromise, I guess, compromise. And just being, we both being on common grounds and have a common understanding of where you stand, who you are, what you want, where you want to go, what you want to be. I feel like for relationships to really last, like you really have to have an understanding of your person and just know them. And the rest is history. You feel like I really know you? Yeah. You feel like you really know me? Mm -hmm. I'm glad that just, just what we built, I mean, Granted, as much as people say that we're couple goal, oh, let me move, y'all. I don't know why, no. but that thing, the other one to that last night, that that thing went crazy. You lost your touch. <laughs> I did. Um, but I think that let me move the food. I'm over here talking all the food. Um, what was I about to say? I think that as much as people say that we're couple goals, and although, albeit, you know, I accept that compliment very much so, but there is a lot of hard work that goes in on the back, and like we're definitely. <laughs> Look at her, she's scared. <laughs> what, Pinky? <laughs> you did it. I think definitely um, we put in the work to be able to to be like that. And we're not perfect by any means, but we definitely have fun with each other. We love each other and we give each other grace when need be. Um, try to take the time to understand where we do something wrong in a situation, even when we feel like we haven't. Acknowledge what each other feels, regardless of whether we feel like we did something wrong or not. You still have to acknowledge how whatever your actions were, you have to acknowledge how that made your person feel. Regardless of if you think it was wrong, if you think it was warranted or not warranted, you have to you have to acknowledge that. You have to swallow that pride and just be amicable, be understanding, be willing to compromise. Step out of yourself for a second. Shoot, I'll toast to that. We just dropped some bars. Toast to the enemy. I love you. Oh, that's liquor. <laughs> <laughs> What time do you want to walk the dog in the morning? Okay. It's whatever time we have to do. What do you have time to do, Mom? Um, my last two assignments, I did four out of the six assignments that I had to do. And after that, my eyeballs couldn't take much more. So I said I'll do the last two tomorrow because they shouldn't, they shouldn't take me too long. I should probably, I'll probably be working for it. Like what, two hours long, maybe? Um, if that. So after we walk the dogs and shower and stuff, I was gonna make us some lunch. Or actually, we can't eat this. These leftovers. Um, I knew it was something. All right, y'all. So we about to test. We about to test the pasta. Ready? Let's see. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything on my fork. Looks good. We had to pop it in the microwave, child. We've been in here running our mouth. Okay. What you got? That's good. Is it good? Or what, one out of ten. Mm. I 
I give it a 9.5 only because I would, I wish it was a little bit more sauce on there. Yeah, they did have they it like lunch. a very, they ha had it, made it a very thin sauce. But maybe they did that on purpose though. So. Yeah, they did. Cause but it's good. It would be good with um like some shrimp. Mushrooms. Mm. Mushrooms. Some of the mushrooms, yeah. But yeah, but if y'all get hello fresh and y'all try this meal and y'all want it to be like a little extra creamier. A little extra more sauce. Just add some, add a little extra cream cheese and a little bit more pasta water. Because I'm telling you, once our leftovers sit in the refrigerator overnight, that sauce is gonna be non existent. Still bust up. No, it's still bust. The red pepper flakes adds. Red pepper flakes as a little something. All right, so I told y'all that we was having movie night. <laughs> so we woke up in to this movie being sent to us from a TikTok that somebody made, right? Y'all, look at the title of this movie. Music artist Raven the Stallion and Corey Gaines have a secret love affair behind their friend Chelsea's back. What? Chelsea? Doesn't that sound like somebody? Raven the Stallion? Doesn't that sound like somebody? Corey Gaines? Like, I'm, I'm really, like, I'm weak. I'm weak. But one of, one of our friends... Uh, sent us this in the group chat y'all we about to watch it okay i will report back because i'm very curious um maybe you think it's gonna be like actually serious or you think it's gonna be a joke i don't know the movie is only what is it oh dang okay so it's only 199 if you have amazon prime you can rent it for 199 the movie is only 51 minutes so we shall see I think it's gonna be quite entertaining. Yeah. All right. Let's let's see what this movie giving because I'm tickled at the description and the title already. So. Hello, hello, beautiful people. Happy Monday! Surprise! It's Monday. <laughs> y'all haven't seen me since Friday, but y'all did not miss anything. Okay. Um, the majority of my Saturday was finishing homework like the first half of the morning and then in the afternoon we actually um, had like a group FaceTime date with our friends um, in one of our group chats so that was pretty fun and then on Sunday we just had a reset day laundry um, cleaning movies chilling y'all didn't miss nothing okay y'all didn't miss nothing at all but it's monday i just got out of class i think i need some more water now i've been drinking all my water shout out to me but it's monday um i just got out of class oh not me hitting the curb Child. anywho um I'm about to be on my way home. Y'all, this is the last week of my second term of school and my breaks. How how embarrassing. I didn't hit the curb and breaks making noise all in less than two minutes of me opening this video. How ghetto, how embarrassing. <laughs> but anywho, I'm probably probably need to get those breaks checked soon but um this is the last week of my second term in school y'all but your girl really is out here in freaking school i really can't believe that i've i've literally been in school for half a semester now like 
that's crazy in five more weeks my semester actually no i take that back i think this will technically be half a semester because i told y'all that my school was non-traditional so the way they break it down um it's kind of different than a traditional college but i think is it four terms as a semester or is it three terms as a semester if three terms as a semester then i am almost done with my first semester of school which is really really crazy i'm super proud of myself y'all it has been a struggle when i say a struggle it has been a struggle just like getting back acclimated into doing work full-time or doing school full-time but um just finding balance with this and youtube has really much really really very much so been a lot but i've actually been trying to question myself and ask why you know what 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 is the issue i'm really just trying to find systems that work for me um and then obviously as y'all know well not obviously as y'all know but i have also been you know trying to get back on a good working look i cannot talk i've really been trying to get into a good rhythm when it comes with balancing um school youtube and fitness um and so those things are really i don't know I, I don't know maybe i'm just like not not adulting maybe i'm just i don't know who signed me up for adulting because i feel like when i look at the things that i have on my plate granted not taking away anything from what i'm doing or what i have going on because every time i do that to myself it's almost as if i'm discrediting all the work and things that i do right but then i look at you know people with kids and people like with a full-time job on top of what i'm doing and i'm just like girl get it together get it together you don't even have kid well i mean i do have kids my fur babies um you know i but it obviously it's different than human children but we just call them our kids because we love our babies but i just be looking at stuff sometimes and i'm like i can go harder and i really don't be wanting to be um like getting that toxic productivity mode like that grind mode and to literally set myself up for instant burnout but i just be feeling like you can do more like you got it in you and the fact that i feel like this this that instance in me like i'm not how do i explain what i want to say i've just been feeling that tug again i feel like i talked about this um maybe not last year but the year before last like that feeling that tug that pull it's like okay it's it's time to it's time to turn it up a notch i feel like maybe biannually i have these moments where i feel like all right you're doing good but it's time to turn it up a notch like i get into those spaces and those moments in my life where i'm like you're doing good you're doing great sweetie but we we want more and i don't know if that's coming from a place of like scarcity mindset as to why i feel like i need to be grasping for other things or why i start getting in these moments in which i feel like i want to be doing more not necessarily need to be doing more but i be having a want to do more you know what i'm saying and it's i wonder sometimes is that you know god telling me like hey you're doing good but i want you to put your foot on the gas just a little bit harder like i just be getting in those in those 
moments where I'm like, it, like I feel almost uncomfortable because the, because I'm comfortable in what I'm doing, if that makes sense. So that's why I've been having the urge to add in other things or to um, change up my schedule to challenge myself a little bit because it's all cool and dandy to you know put out a video once a week make sure I get my school work done but where are the other areas in life where I am progressing and I again I'm not trying to downplay what it is that I have going on now or downplay what it is that I do now but I just I don't know I just know I just be feeling it in my soul like you you got you have you have so much more in you you have so much more in you and so that's why I wanted to really get back into my fitness because I know that that is gonna be like a main oh wait is there traffic over here I'm not trying to go with this traffic but I don't know I just I just definitely just get into these seasons where I feel like it's time to elevate and honestly I think since winter is gonna be coming to a close soon um, we're almost at the end of February and it'll be March um, very soon spring is like that time when the blooms of you know everything that was dead in the winter time is coming alive and I know that people like to like kick start off their new year like right in January but for some people it's a little bit harder to get into that flow and I feel like that that has that is what's been happening to me this year and that's what's happened in years in the past like at the start of the new year I didn't necessarily automatically feel like okay sorry about that y'all my camera overheated because it's I'm in Texas even though it was 37 degrees this morning when I left for class it's now 61 but anywho basically a long story short because I feel like I really wasn't making sense every time I get out of class like sometimes I just need to like take a moment before I start talking because I don't be knowing what I be talking about anymore especially when I begin out of these networking and programming classes like my brain be complete applesauce but anywho um I think that <clears throat> since it's now spring or it's not spring yet but spring is upon us I'm starting to get that fire under my under my ASS you know I'm trying to get that I'm starting to get that fire under my backside I'm really starting to think long term like I'm I'm settled into the year getting into that moment where I'm like all right I'm I, like I feel a pull I feel like something needs to happen like I'm ready for a shift I hope I'm making sense to those of y'all who are you know get a little scatterbrain thinking about two and three and four and five things at one time hopefully y'all understand me hopefully y'all get me and hopefully this glare on my glasses that's making me look like an absolute nerd <laughs> is not distracting but I say all this to say if you started the new year and honestly I think that that's um that's probably going to be my first mindset to chat video for um this year because I still have not made it and that's only because the beginning of my year um didn't ne didn't necessarily start how I wanted it to and I didn't have like all this drive and motivation to start all these new things do all these new things I was barely holding on to the things that I had like getting acclimated with school pretty much being the main thing so I say all this to say that if you are just now starting to come into like your actual 2024 mindset and you know starting to feel the pull to do all the things that you have not done yet please do not be hard on yourself don't be hard on yourself if there is stuff that you wanted to do and you have not done it yet we are only in month two and 
honestly winter the winter months like you're still in hiber hibernation stage not everybody you know comes alive and you know rebirths themselves into this new and improved you know new year version of themselves yet and it's okay if you haven't done that yet it is perfectly okay it is perfectly fine you are still in hibernation mode things in the winter are still dead and have yet to be bloomed not saying that you're dead by any means not saying that you know you have yet to come alive just that you've still been processing 2023's year end and you're now about to step into a season where you are ready to start your 2024 officially or start to manifest and put in put in the work for the things that you want to come into fruition for you in 2024. I really feel like I'm speaking in gibberish and honestly if I'm editing this and it doesn't make sense I'm going to take it out <laughs> but I just I don't know I just wanted to share with you all that I've been feeling such a pull to just shift and to get shit done change shit um feel different strive and hunger for different and for me that just always comes like at the end of winter i don't know why the beginning of the new year is just not it's just not it for me and i know that if it's not it for me it's definitely not it for a lot of y'all like coming off of holiday and just digesting and you know just really digesting the end of 2023 and um just being in that pre-contemplation stage of 2024 the only thing that is left for you to do now is make some shit shake i'm on my way home from school and when i get home we're gonna change and we are going to have pretty much like a cardio day but at more so active rest um baby and i are going to take the dogs for a long walk she's off work today i think she only had to work two hours today because it's president's day why did i have school on president's day i don't know but she's already off work and so we're gonna go for it like a nice long walk with the dogs get them some fresh air and then also just get our bodies moving get our bodies stretched out um and then after that i think i want to get into uh like some channel edits because y'all have seen me go through like so many different phases like transitional phases trying to really figure out what direction i want my channel to go into and since I've decided that, you know, locks is not the only thing that I want on my channel, obviously that's a part of me, but that's not all of me. Um, I, I've just really been trying to figure out how to harness all of the different things that I want my channel to encompass. And so I think I want to do some edits on that. I know I want to do a new intro. I've been wanting a new intro for a long time. I feel like my intro is so basic um <laughs> and which is cute it's cute when it might be cool and all for some but it's to me it's, it's real real basic it's giving basic um so new intro new outro a banner i really want to hone in on uh my time management when it comes to getting videos out for youtube so i'm learning to um edit my vlogs as i go because in the past when i was either working a nine to five or um you know just focusing on youtube 24 7 i was sitting down and editing all of my footage at one time instead of editing in portions and i feel like since my vlogs tend to be about 45 minutes to an hour in order to get that footage out in and good enough time and like the time that I would like to get it out then I need to be editing as I go and I think I've, well, I've heard some other creators like mention that like you know oh, I'm gonna you know do some editing do some editing like midweek I think that that would be very much so beneficial for me especially since I'm in school like kind of add that to um 
some of my days like weekly whenever I'm doing homework and stuff like kind of treat it as if I'm doing homework so a lot of chit chat <laughs> but that's what we're getting ready to go do yeah I'm gonna just see y'all when I get home because I'm hot and I need to turn on this AC because I'm all layered up because it was 37 degrees this morning and now it's not <laughs> so I'm gonna see y'all when I get home Thank <laughs> you. 